in this video we are talking all things fonts. So you have three options when it comes to what types of fonts you want to use in your Kajabi account. Option one is to use the Google fonts that are preloaded into Kajabi. No code is needed for that. You just get to select them from a drop down list and they will apply to your pages and products. Option two is to download some Google font files if there are some Google fonts that you want to use that are not preloaded into Kajabi. Um, and you'll need some code for that if you wanna add them to your Kajabi site. Option three is to use your own non-Google custom font files. Code is needed for this option as well and that's what I'm going to walk you through next. One thing to keep in mind is that if you'll be choosing option two or three and using font files, only certain file types will work in Kajabi. So I recommend using the TTF font file type. So if you have a different file type, you'll wanna convert it to that TTF format by using Convertio. Um, and there is the link right here and I'm gonna walk you through how you can do that next. For my headings, I use the Canpuni font, and for my paragraph text, I use HK Grotesque. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is decide what that font is for your headings and for your paragraph text. Step two is to download your custom font files. So if that's from Google, um, you can go to fonts.google.com and you can search for the font you'd like to use. Let's say that you want to use this font right here. You click into it and you click download family and it will download um, the font file to your computer. If you just have your fonts purchased from somewhere like Creative Market or Font Shop or Defont, um, just make sure to download those font files from wherever you purchase the fonts from. Now, when you download those fonts, you're gonna wanna look at the ending to see what type of file it is. So you can see right here, when I downloaded Campuni, it downloaded as Campuni regular.otf. Now, I want that to be a TTF font file. So what I use is Convertio, and you can click here. It's a free um, online software where you can choose your file and then say that you wanna convert it from OTF to TTF. So you just upload your file here and then convert it and you can re-download it to your computer as a TTF font file. So go ahead and make sure that all of your font files are in TTF format and then upload them. You can upload the originals as well as the um, TTF version to your Google Drive folder so that you have access to them in the future. And you can see here when I downloaded them as TTF font files, I renamed them just as Campuni instead of Campuni Regular and as HK Grotesque. Um, I find it works a little bit better to um, eliminate any like extra special characters um, spaces, so no spaces in the font name and just the font name itself. So go ahead and get your font files ready first. Okay, then create a blank landing page in Kajabi called Assets Page. So you're gonna go into your Kajabi account and you're gonna go from your main dashboard screen to website, pages, and then landing. And then you're going to create a new landing page. So once you have clicked new landing page, you're just gonna choose the blank option here and click get started and title it assets page and then click Create. It is going to create the new blank page for you. Here you go. And once you've got that page created, 
you're going to want to turn it to draft mode. So you can click details down here on the bottom left and switch it from published mode to draft mode. This assets page is really only for you internally in your account. You don't need to, no one else needs access to this um, page on the internet. So this helps it so that only you can see that page. So draft mode, click save. And then let's go back to our landing pages and open the page up again. Click customize. So you've got your assets page set up. The next thing that you're gonna wanna do is click into this text box right here. And I like to write heading one, heading two, heading three, heading four, heading five, heading six. There are six headings that you can have um, throughout your page as you are writing your text and then also a spot for the paragraph text. Then I like to go through and each of these like heading one, highlight it, go to formats, headings and make sure heading one is selected. Then heading two, formats, headings, heading two, make sure that one's selected. Heading three, make sure that one is selected. Heading four, heading five, and heading six. That way when I'm testing out the fonts, I can make sure that the custom fonts are applying to all the headings and to the paragraph text appropriately. So I'm gonna click save. Okay. Then I'm gonna delete out this image um, block because I don't need that right now. And I'm gonna click save. Now, if you are deciding to use your own fonts and not upload any custom fonts, this is where you would click into settings, style guide, and then you would scroll down to fonts and you would choose the body font. That's like the paragraph um, text. And you would choose what you want your paragraph text to be. And then you would choose what you want your heading font to be and then you would click save and it would update on the page. You can see all of the HUD headings updated to this Brie Serif and body font um, updated to this cabin. Um, I like to just default the heading font to normal instead of bold. And then if I want to bold it, I can go into that individual text and bold it. So I would switch this to normal instead of bold and then click save. Now, if you're saying, I don't wanna use any of these other fonts that are already preloaded in here, I wanna use my own fonts, this is what you need to do next. You are going, if we go back to the template page, you are now going to create a call to action block, that means a button, and you're going to write the name of the font for your headings in that button text with .ttf at the end. For the button action, you're gonna choose download a file and you're going to upload that TTF font file for your headings and click save. So we're going to click into this section and we're going to add a call to action block. I'm going to make it 12 blocks across and then I'm going to put the text. For the text, I'm gonna put the name of my heading font, so Campuni dot ttf and then for the button action i'm going to choose download a file i'm going to upload my campuni dot ttf file so if i go into my downloads section i can upload my campuni font file campuni dot ttf open so i chose that file from my computer and I have uploaded it and then I'm going to click save. All right, now I'm going to repeat the same process for my paragraph text, my body text. So I'm going to add another call to action button and I'm going to label this one the name of my font for my paragraph text, so hkgrotesque.ttf. Notice I've got no spaces or extra characters or anything like that. 
Um, so even though there's a space in HK Grotesque, I'm deleting out any spaces and kind of making it all one word. Um, and then same thing, I'm going to say download a file. I'm going to choose the hkgrotesque.ttf file and choose open. And then I am going to click save. All right, so I've got my two buttons created, one for my headings and one for my paragraph text. So step six is complete. Step seven is complete. Now I'm going to preview the landing page and I'm going to right click on the button that I created for my heading font and I'm going to click copy link address and I'm going to paste that URL down here in this Google Doc. So I'm going to go back to my assets page. I'm going to click this little preview icon. It's going to open up the page in a new tab. And I'm going to right click on my campuni.ttf button and I'm going to click copy link address. Then I'm going to go back to my Google Doc and I am going to paste in that URL right into that box. Then I'm going to delete out my domain that comes before the slash resource redirect part of the URL. So we can see the resource redirect and then the rest of the URL. Everything that comes before that, so this is my domain that I've got on this Kajabi site, CourtneyEibingerLLC.MyKajabi.com. I'm going to delete that out. So I'm left with this URL right there. Now I'm going to do the same thing for my paragraph font. So I'm going to preview this page again. I'm going to right click now on the HK Grotesque button and I'm going to click copy link address. And I'm going to paste that link address down here. And then once I have pasted that in, I'm going to delete out my domain name and leave the slash resource redirect and everything else that comes after in that URL. Okay, so I'm going to need to use these two URLs in the code. So I've got them saved here, so I have access to them. Then in the following snippet of code down below, you are going to replace right here this heading font name with your heading font name. No spaces or anything like that. And then that URL that you just pasted in this box right here is going to get pasted in the code right there. And then same thing for your paragraph font name. You're going to replace this with your paragraph font name and then paste that URL down here for the paragraph font. And then finally, you'll scroll down and you're gonna replace this with your heading font name. And you're going to replace this again with your paragraph font name. And then you're gonna choose either your heading font name or your paragraph font name, whichever one you would like to use for your buttons on your page. And you'll put that font name right there. Everything else is going to stay the same. So in my example, this is my final custom code. My heading font is Campuni. So I'm just gonna write Campuni. That URL, I'm going to paste in right here. Same thing, I've got HK Grotesque for my paragraph font. That URL, paste in right here. And then my heading fonts, Campuni. My paragraph font is HK Grotesque, so I've added that in here. And then my buttons are going to be HK Grotesque as well. So I'm going to add that name in right there. Now, the last thing that you need to do is next to, um, or down here, where it has the heading font um, name, Campuni, it says sans serif. If your font is a serif font instead of a sans serif font, you will want to replace this with serif. Um, same thing here. If your paragraph font text is a serif font instead of a sans serif font, you want to just take out that sans and just leave serif. Um, and same thing here for your button font, whether it's your paragraph font or your heading font. Then once you've got all of this 
code right here. You're going to test it out. So you're going to copy all of this code right here. And like that. And I'm going to click copy. And then I'm going to go into my assets page and click on settings and then click on custom code. I'm going to paste that underneath. So in here, I'm going to go to settings, custom code, and it will say CSS code. You can delete out where it says CSS overrides. Go here and you're going to paste in that code from the Google Doc and click save. And if all is working correctly, then your heading font should show up for all of these headings and your paragraph um, font should show up here for this paragraph text and your whichever one you chose for your buttons should show up as the text um, font in your button. So you can see it worked here. All of my heading fonts changed to Campuni. My paragraph changed to HK Grotesque and my buttons changed to HK Grotesque as well. So you're just going to click save and then those fonts are loaded into this page. Now you're going to need to add this code um, later on when we create additional pages and create your product. So you want to keep this code here in this Google Doc handy um, so that you can easily copy it um, and use it later on. But Give it a try, um, go through this process and add your custom fonts to your assets page in your Kajabi account.